What's up, Interweb? Raikwin here, and today I've got another Meet the Coach interview for you today with Old Man Tup of the Pittsburgh Piratatars. How you doing today, man? Good. How about yourself, sir? Not too bad at all. Thank you very much. Um, so, Old Man Tup, these Meet the Coach interviews, if you didn't know, is just to help meet the coaches that you uh, that are coming to the GBA in Season 4. Uh, Old Man Tup is one of the six new coaches. Uh, so, these are just going to be some questions just to help us get to know you a little better. So, first things first, how long have you been playing Pokemon? Um, well, competitively speaking, I've been playing since about mid-third gen. Yeah. Um, the, I pretty much started right around when Emerald peaked. Um, for, I think it was the 10th anniversary, uh, Pokemon did a Journey Across America tour. Mm -hmm. which turned into a national tournament, and I competed in the uh, first actual competition in Pittsburgh. Oh, wow. So, quite a long time then. Oh, yeah. You uh, live up to your name of Old Man Tub. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> and you already answered my next question, which was how long have you been competitive battling, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, that long. Um, but in terms of, like, uh, obviously this is a very different style of... Uh, competitive battling this uh, the GBA format. Um, do you have any like experience with any kind of league format like this before? Are you comfortable with it? Um, actual experience, no. But um, I've been friends with Steve for quite a while. Um, actually, on some of my older channels, we uh, met up and actually went to some of the regional competitions together in New Jersey. Right. But um, I follow the GBA. I've helped a couple of the coaches with some of their teams, but actual doing it myself, no. Ah, right. Um, so you think you'll be okay with, like, adapting to the style then? Because, as you said, you've, you've been helping people out. You know you know what you're doing in terms of, you know, tailoring all the EV spreads and all that good stuff. Yes, you yes, I would. With that. I hope so. Yeah, that's awesome. That's good. Um and obviously, uh, previous seasons of the GBA uh, has been a different format to this one. This one is doing a different drafting system, which means there's a lot more of uh, uh, diversity in terms of tiers, etc. Um, yes. So do you feel like you're pretty comfortable using lower tier mons in your, in your team? Yes. Um, back... I, my favorite generation was the fourth generation, competitively speaking. Mm -hmm. And what, what I liked about it so much was you could bring lower tier mons, and they were so good in the standard format, but nobody used them. Yeah. That's exactly. my favorite wall core back in fourth gen was uh, Lantern Tangrowth. Oh, wow. That's powerful. Because I, I, I feel Lantern especially is extremely underrated as a, oh. as a wall. Like, yeah, definitely. Crazy. HP stat is insane. Um, but we briefly touched on it, but in terms of the actual draft itself, uh, obviously, as I said, there was a lot more uh, variety in terms of tiers. Um, how do you feel you did with your draft as the Pittsburgh Pirata does? Um, are you pretty happy with what you get? Did you get sniped a lot? Or? Um, yes and no. Um, we discussed this in the, the group chat with the the other team owners last night and a lot of us felt pretty much the same was we a lot of us had what we would refer to as early sniping but ultimately it helped us build a stronger core to our teams because every the first five I'm gonna say rounds I, almost all of us had a list of four or five Pokemon we were looking for and because some of those got knocked off in between our picks, it made it a lot easier to pick what we were going with. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, but, oh, I'm sorry. Overall, I, I'm fairly happy. I mean, everything I have is something, are things that I've been experienced with. Uh, ironically enough, since 4th Gen, since all of my Pokemon are 4th Gen Mons. Yeah. So I am fairly comfortable and familiar with the team. So I'm really happy with it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so just just in case people weren't aware, I'll just uh, run down the Pittsburgh Power Exercise real quick, which is uh, Heatran, Crobat, Azumarill, Mamoswine, Salamence, Slowking, Mega Alakazam, Cacturn, Hitmontop, Rotom, and Porygon Z. Yeah, that's that's regular Rotom, not any particular form of it. Um, Correct. But that is uh, 
pretty damn powerful. <laughs> you got some serious power on that team. And as you said, you're obviously very experienced with a lot of those things. The only one I'd say is probably Mega Alakazam, which is obviously, you know, not Alakazam. Right. It's not the only right. thing that wasn't available in the fourth gen. But um, yeah, you say you're pretty comfortable with all that stuff, though, which is pretty promising, I'd say. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting these guys some action and some attention. Exactly, because I think at the end of the day, in in the GBA and things like this, you have to use stuff you're comfortable with. Because right. if you don't, then things aren't going to be to their full potential, pretty much. That's the way I see it anyways. Um, so, in terms of the season, there's obviously some fantastic battlers and other people in this in this GBA. Um, what are your expectations for this season? What, what do you see yourself doing this season? Um, as far as expectations, um, what I'd like to do, I don't have... I'd like to win. I mean, as everybody would. But um, realistic expectations, being completely brand new to this, I'd have to say if I break 500, I'll be more than happy with the season as a whole. But, I mean, I'd like to make the playoffs. I mean, um, after watching the pre-draft video and knowing that nobody has much of any idea of my battle style, I think that's a little bit to my advantage. So, um... Yeah, that, I think that I think that's going to come into play as as uh, as you said. You've obviously been battling a long time, but people don't really know that much about your style of play, I guess. Um, which can de definitely definitely come into play, especially with some unexpected uh, lower tier mons as well. Things like uh, Hitmontop and Cacturn that are on your team, you can definitely pull off some interesting things with that. I'm pretty sure. All right. Um, pretty soon, anyway. Um, who are you most looking forward to playing this season uh, out of all the other teams? Oh, who am I most looking forward to playing because I'm a huge fanboy, or who am I most forward looking to playing because of their team? Um, both. Say, so, um, if I was going to fanboy the hardest, I'd have to say Miguel, just because <laughs> he's the, probably the coach that I've followed the most closely since mm -hmm. the D-League. Right. And that was where I was introduced to him, and I've just always enjoyed his videos, so I really look forward, and I, I hope I beat the crap out of him, but I mean, <laughs> regardless, I, if we play during the regular season, that's probably who I look the most forward to that way. Um, who am I going to look forward to to playing the team? I'm going to have to say Hank the Pidgey, because his team scares the crap out of me. It is extremely threatening, isn't it? That regenerator core he has, True. I'm looking forward to breaking that down if I can. Yeah. I think that's going to be the most challenge of any team that I see thus far, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, I agree with that one. That, that's going to be something. <laughs> that is going to be something yeah. to take down. Um, definitely a challenge that I think most people will try, uh, like to at least accomplish, to try and take take out, I think. Yeah. It'd definitely be something to look out for. Um, and you, you may have already, it may be the same answer, but who do you think outside of yourself uh, are people to look out for this season? Who do you think is going gonna, is gonna to do well? Oh, I, uh, uh, Hank, obviously. Mm -hmm. I, I, if, if Hank doesn't make it to the finals, I mean, unless he gets some really unfortunate hacks in the playoffs, I think he'll probably take it. Um, I'm going to go... And I'm going to bounce between two of the new coaches and say the San Francisco Giantes mm -hmm. and the Detroit Steel Wings. Oh, nice. Just because I, I think people are going to sleep on those two guys. And I think Crimson and I, if we play, are going to have outstanding matches just because I think from what I've seen of his videos, we have a fairly somewhat similar battle style. Yep. And the Giantes, I just... I just think people are going to really underestimate that team, and I think it's really good. I think so, yeah. I think generally people underestimate rain teams as a whole. Yeah. Uh, definitely, definitely threatening, and something to definitely watch out for. Jim Lee DeGio and the Giantes, and Crimson yeah. Seabat of the Detroit Steel Wings. That's very yeah. interesting. Um, definitely got some threats on both of those teams as well to watch out for, like Gothitelle on the Detroit Steel Wings as well. That's always, yeah. always an issue. And Sheer Force for Alligator is nothing to mess with. Um, exactly. But yeah, there's hopefully be some some great matches, hopefully. Um, now, all I'm going to do at the end of this thing right now, uh, it's just going to be a little fun little 
lightning round, pretty much. Where okay. I'm just basically going to give you, like, two options, and you have to say, like, the first thing that comes into your head. Like, your instinct answer between these two options, pretty much. All right. Nothing too serious. There's not going to be any implications for it. Just a little fun lightning round, because why not? Um, so, for example, first thing I'd say would be something like Mac bike or acro bike, and then you just say acro bike, acro bike. Okay, just that's it, and we'll just go Hands through a down. few of them, and we'll see what comes out. So, be interesting to see people's answers. Um, so, are you ready? Ready. All right then. Trick room or tailwind? Trick room. Bounce or dig? Oh, dig all day. Alakazam or Gengar? Oh, you're hurting me on that one. <laughs> Because I picked Alakazam, but I'm going to say Gengar because he's been one of my favorites since day one. Nice. Rhyperior or Gigalith? Rhyperior. That's the obvious correct answer. Obviously. Um, red or blue? Oh, blue. Swift Swim or Chlorophyll? <sighs> chlorophyll. Sun teams are underrated. Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire? Oh. Uh, see, I've played Sapphire, but Groudon's always been my favorite, so Omega Ruby. Latios or Latias? Latias. Got to go with the defense. Kanto or Johto? <sighs> Kanto, OG. And last but not least, the most important one, the most important question you will ever be asked. Raikwin or Crobat for the win? Oh, come on. <laughs> say, now, you, I have to explain this one. <laughs> I'm going to say both. both. I'm more familiar with Crobat for the win because I followed him a little bit longer. I was just introduced <laughs> to you about like three weeks ago. That's but fair. you are definitely cuter and have the better accent, so I mean, that's on your side. I mean, yeah, obviously. obviously. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure to that question there is only actually one answer. But okay, I'll I'll give you a bye. At least you, <laughs> at least you didn't say dancer. There we go. That, that's not yeah. bad. Anyway, that is pretty much going to wrap things up. Um, links will be in the description for Old Man Top, obviously. And uh, if you guys are rooting for the Pittsburgh Piratitas, then make sure to leave a comment down below sharing your support. And hopefully this little interview that I did has helped you to get, uh, get to know Tup a little bit better. So thank you for watching and keep your eyes out for more Meet the Coaches interviews coming very soon by myself and Corbett for the win. So I'll see you guys in the next Meet the Coach interview. Toodaloo. Catch you later.